All right, guys, today I've got a review here of Liquid Smooth ROM. So let's uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, this is your basic ROM right here. Uh, let's see what we have here App Drawer, Apollo, DSP Manager, Notepad V3, and Torch. The rest of those are pretty standard applications. This is all it comes with right here. You got some basic widgets, all those kind of goodies. Um, let's go ahead and check out our pull down. So this is our notification and this is our quick toggles um, A lot of different cool stuff. I actually added this one right here And I'll show you guys some of the features of this ROM. It's really packed full of great information This is a reboot system. So if you just hold on your finger on that it'll reboot it if you tap it It'll go reboot to recovery you hold that and it'll reboot to recovery or you can tap and it'll go back to the other one so that's just a nice little feature you have right there in here. You can also switch down here to switch from notifications to quick toggles. Let's go into settings. I'm going to show you guys this thing is just like full of great, great stuff in here. Actually, I didn't even notice this, but I'm going to show it to you right now. This is called Liquid Dark. It says it's off. And now it's on. So now it's like the white on jet black versus the little bit lighter uh, theme right here. So that's pretty cool. Let's check out interfaces and see what we have here. Um, so you do have hardware keys and things like that. Clock widgets you can mess with. Um, so right here, this is something I, I want to show you guys. Recent RAM bar. So I really like this. I enable this. It doesn't come enabled. Um, and you can enable it for applications, applications in cache, and a whole bunch of things. I'm just going to do applications. Let me show you guys how this works. Whenever you guys go to your most recent and running applications, it gives you your RAM bar on the bottom. How much is used, megabytes, and how much is free. So I think that's a, a really nifty little feature there on the bottom here. So very, very cool. Let's go back into settings and show you guys some more. Uh, features here so you have that you do have your lock screen screen stuff where you can put different targets on it and to go right to your phone or open your camera or whatever when you're unlocking that is in there which is very nice uh, navigation this just enables these navigation bar along here you already have buttons it just takes up screen space in my opinion but if you guys like that you can go ahead and enable those right there I'm gonna take those back off um, it also has performance, so you have performance controls for changing your min, CPU speed, and your max. Governor, schedulers, all those goodies. Um, SD card, read aheads, and free memory settings. Time of states, CPU information. So you do have this built into the user settings. And then you do also have Pi control. And I, this is enabled right now, so if you scroll up from the bottom right here, you can get a Pi control. It comes up, tells you your time, tells you your battery, what Wi-Fi you're connected to, things like that. And you can use it to go home or let's see what else can we do here. Uh, look at most recent applications. So very cool Pi control comes with this thing. There's lots of settings and there, lots of great information in there. Also, um, power menu, just when you turn the power off what comes up on there you can do sound panel and different things like that so it would be what comes up on that screen right there um, that's what you're adjusting right here so you have some some good stuff there uh, power widgets this will turn on these widgets right across the top Wi-Fi Bluetooth whatever and you can customize those however you want and you get rid of them and now they're gone so there's a whole another area of customization in there, which is very nice. Uh, let's see, we got quick setting. So this is the tiles. Let me show you. Now you can adjust and add. Right here, we can add something to this. For example, sound. And now it has a sound thing. So pretty cool. And you can just reset them all too if you don't want them the way they are. Reset to default, and they go back to here. So and then obviously you always you have all their their different quick settings and stuff in here that you can mess with. Uh, let's see, the next, what do we have here? Status bar. Uh, you can do counts of messages, status bar type. This is where you can change your battery icon. So we'll do this one and we're going to do circle with percentages. Now it just changed your icon up there. 
um, and colors and all kinds of goodies. You can also do it with status bar styles. Now you can change the color of your status bar. Let's say we want it red. And now it's red. Um, go white maybe. Got a white status bar. So for your wallpaper and stuff, you can really match your wallpaper. Just gives it a full clean look on the whole phone. I think that's a nice little feature built in here. Some other little settings in here also. Uh, let's see what else we have. We also have themes. Obviously you can download themes for theme chooser themes from Google Play and put those on there also. Uh, whatever you want from there. Let's see what else we have. We have advanced. Here's some storage things. You can take some of your external storage and turn it into an, a place to store more applications. So that is nice. Little couple quick uh, features right there you can also access and then we have your super user application is built into uh, your settings and developer development this is where you enable USB debugging things like that and about phone last but not least Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean XT875 which is the Droid Bionic and right there, Liquid Smooth ROM. This is version 2.2.1 official. And there you go. That is pretty much everything you got on this. I do want to see if they have any Liquid Smooth. Let's see if they have any wallpapers for this. Oh, they do. Very cool. Um, let's see what kind of wallpapers we have. There's one. There's one. Load. All right. So I'm just going to go with this one. This one looks pretty pretty slick. We'll set that wallpaper go back out of it there we go there we go guys that is my little review of liquid smooth ROM on the droid bionic um, hope you guys like this there's a lot more settings that I couldn't even go through but just trying to give you a quick recap this thing's just stock full of them and you can make this little thing look any way you want really so very very nice obviously it comes with Nova launcher built into it already um, hope you guys like it if you did please give me a big thumbs up check out my website root junkie right here follow me on Facebook or Twitter and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.